hope you can see this. It's not terribly clear, but I don't get any nearer. But what we've got here is a bonded pair of quail. The front one is a pharaoh. He was hatched here last year. And behind him is a golden Manchurian. And she I bought from an organic quail farm, which is a pretty rare thing. <laughs> I managed to get two quail from there. Now, I've been away on holiday with my family in Scotland and unfortunately they'd already made a nest. She laid eight eggs in it before we went. But the problem was that I wasn't quite ready for that and I was worried when I was away that we might get a rat or something. So I created a safe place in here and moved the eggs and that was a mistake because it put her off. So she's gone back to her original nest since we came back, which the male dug for her. I'll, I'll try and show you that when she's come off the eggs she's just, and she started to lay the first egg in it yesterday and you can see his role he's guarding her while she's laying it's strange that we humans we get this idea about what birds do particularly quail and oh you can only have you've got to have many females with one male and it's not true when they're bonded you just need a male and a female together like this because the male has a distinctive role in nesting and guarding now with my other quail that I had, after she began to sit, she didn't want to know the, the male anymore and she kept chasing him off. So it seems like the role stops once she starts covering the eggs. So we'll see. I'm hoping this is going to be another egg today and then we'll go on from there. But I'm going to have to make this rat proof as well. But in the evening, well, after she's laid, she'll probably come off that and she'll go and she won't notice me if I start doing something. The slightly impossible thing is that she's made this in a tussock of grass that I put in there. So the grass has all grown. If it was just in bare earth like it was before, that would be okay because I'd be able to dig it up and then put it back after I put wire netting underneath to make it so that nobody could dig into it. So the important thing is she'll, she'll be safe while she's covering because after she starts covering she's only going to come off once a day, probably for a quarter of an hour or even less. So I've really got to make it safe for her so she can sleep on those eggs overnight, obviously. So watch this space. It's my rehomed coaching. Dandelion in the roses. He's come to have a look too. Anyway, keep your fingers crossed. Thanks for watching.